And this really is remarkable. We truly are seeing history in the making here. And here we are. The new king is about to address the country. I think he's ready. Yes, he's standing up. People of Britain, since the coup six days ago, control of this country has been transferred to the side island. If you obey us, you will be allowed to continue normal in your lives for now. If you do not, then you will be eradicated. <laughs> Doctor Who, Jubilee, Episode 3. Come in, Kappa Base. Come in, Kappa Base. Damn it, what's wrong with them? Not the base reading you. You're on the fuzzy base. Oh, good. You're there. Right, we're in position now. Awaiting instructions. What? Will you please repeat? Kappa base, over. It's not the base that's a problem, Mason. Don't you get it? We're just too deep now. Those signals won't travel easy through 20 feet of solid earth and an extra two foot thick of stone foundation. Uh, uh, so why did no one point this out earlier? Come on, you really reckon Grigson thought this through? How much planning can you do in a day? We're just lucky he was able to lay his hands on the explosive. <laughs> yeah, very lucky. We get to be the ones that blow our brains out for Britain. Hey, calm down, all right? We've got a job to do, and we won't have time to bicker. we got the detonator. Come in, mate. Come in, mate. Hey, they're back. Mason receiving you. Go on, Kappa Base. Over. We boosted the signal. Hope you hear us more clearly. Over. Idiots! Give that here. Kappa Base, turn that signal down immediately. Do you read? You're running a serious risk of being detected. Over. Don't fret, Jeffrey. Ain't no sweet man gonna point us here. I wouldn't count on Can you please let us have your coordinates? Over. Roger. Mason, what does the GPS read? Nothing. Blank. Oh, don't say the Cybermen have taken that out of action, too. Unlikely. We don't have that level of control yet. I guess we're just too deep underground. You need a fairly unobstructed line to the satellite, you know? Repeat. Will you please send your coordinates? Oh, look out! No! No! What was that? The fools! I warned him about the signal. I'm afraid Kappa Base has just gone the same way as Epsilon and Indigo. No. Come on, Mason. It's up to us now. We just plant the bomb here, and then get the hell out of this hole. You're right. It'll still knock him for six, even if it isn't in the optimum position. Go for it. Blue to blue connector. Red to red. Careful. I know what I'm doing, all right. And keep your voice down. Do you want us to get caught? <laughs> Well, that'd ensure our place in the history books, eh? The Cybermen will be burning guys of us come bonfire night. Not their star, Mason. I prefer not to take the credit for this one anyway. Come on now, it's set. Let's get out of here. I know, I know, but... but... <laughs> Dear Doctor, but you have no excuse. The last. <laughs> what exquisite delight to see that beautiful planet you saw at Mars crash beneath the superior mind of the Cybermen. With his own rushes out, the Cybermen must dominate. But there should have been a way. There should have been a way. Yes, you failed us all. Adric failed, 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 failed. Pull yourself together, Doctor. Romana, I've just had the most terrible dream. I don't doubt it. No, 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 but there was more to it than that. Oh, I don't know. It was like a clue. 
but hidden from me. I've got a terrible feeling I'm missing something blatantly obvious. Just for a change. Come on, get up. I can't stand another day of you moping around this ship feeling sorry for yourself. You don't understand, Romana. I've failed. I've let the whole of Earth down. Have you any idea how something of that magnitude can weigh on the conscience? It's not your conscience that's speaking, Doctor. It's self-pity, and I've just about had enough of it. If I haven't given up hope yet, then there's no reason why you should. I only wish I shared your optimism. I really do. It is now installed in the Palace of Westminster, leader. This is excellent news. Now our supremacy is assured. No external forces can hope to threaten the Cyberfeet while we are under the protection of our CEB. CEB? What's that, Jared, dear? Concentrated energy beam, Mother. Oh, do you mean like that Star Wars thing that mad American came up with? Yes, only infinitely superior. The Americans never actually had the ability to put their defense initiative into practice, of course. But the Cybermen do. Don't worry, Mother. As long as we are under the shadow of this weapon, our safety is assured. Mm, yes, well, that's all very well, but you haven't seen what those rotten Cybermen dogs and my begonias trampled all over them and the rock with the beasts. Two, two, three, three, nine, eight, eight. Divide overflow? Divide overflow? No, no, no. Doctor! Hmm? The nav console just keeps responding with errors each time I punch in new coordinates. Any idea what's going on? Yes, of course. And? It's bust. It's bust, I see. And since when have you known this? Oh, I don't know. Other day sometime. You remember. Bangs, jolts, lights went off for a second. Side men outside, I expect. I don't believe it. Could just be rust instead, of course. Well, you've got no choice but to go outside now, have you? <laughs> it would appear so, but I don't like it. It's dangerous out there. You don't seem to understand. A city ruled ruthlessly by an emotionless totalitarian master race. It's like some kind of badly conceived Orwellian parody, only for real. And we're stuck bang in the middle of it. Oh, come on. I thought you laughed in the face of danger. Well, it's only amusing so long as you're winning, I'm afraid. This last week has, uh, rather forced me into a rethink of policy. But you're forgetting about Colin. Oh, I doubt it would take the Cybermen long to work out that he's on our side and not theirs any longer. Not if we look like we're his prisoners. He could be our escort. Hmm, I suppose you're right. We have to go outside now the navigation's broken down to replace those blown components. You go and brief our cybernetic friend. I'll be in our study. Come on, catch up. We gotta get out of here. All right, all right. I'm coming. Oh no! Stay where you are. Damn it! Other way. Jeffers. They got him. Eliminate the other intruder. I obey. If I get out of here, my life will be a miracle. The exit. There it is. The intruder has been captured. Excellent. Bring him outside. We will execute him as an example, together with the suspected Renegade Unit 58. The humans must learn that resistance will not be tolerated. Come on, admit it, Doctor. We're lost. No, look. Over there, there's a subway station. My lend. The fat lot of good it'll do us. The underground is now the domain of the Cybermen. God only knows what they're up to down there. But it's more than our life's worth to go and find out, even with our escort here. I suspect they have a massive construction and mining works below ground, Doctor. They will be planning the invasion of the next city in their conquest of the planet. I dare say so. Doctor? Yes? Why does our race have so little regard for life? How can they propagate such atrocities against humanity? A good question, my friend, and a question to which I have no real answer. Come on, this way, across the canal. We've still got a good few miles to walk yet. You see, Mother, 
We're all quite safe so long as we accept the will of the Cybermen. You are Jared Wentworth, Human Unit 58. Is that not correct? Yes, I am. Is there a problem? No problem. Seize him now and bring him and the captured rebel spy for execution. Yes, Nigo. What? But, but I have served you faithfully. No one more so than I. I would never question... Silence. Your execution is to commence forthwith. But, but, but... If the CE be alive, yes, leader, then you may fire out of bed. No! 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 Big Ben striking at this hour. What is it? Hmm, quarter to three, that's odd. I fear that the toll of Big Ben now has a more sinister meaning than telling the time. Look at the top of Westminster. My giddy aunt, the, the scoundrels! They replaced the top half of the crop tower with some kind of huge gun. Concentrated energy beam weapon, Doctor. It is how the Cybermen will enforce their martial law. And the bell? A death knell marking some victim's execution. Oh no. Look over there. You're right. And they've got someone else lined up next. Quick, pretend you have higher orders to take the prisoner away for interrogation. But that was... Now, before it's too late! Is the human unit for execution? It is. Then I have orders to bring him to the cyber leader for interrogation. I was not made aware of any such orders. You will not question the will of the cyber leader. Release the prisoner into my escort. Very well. You will come with me. Anything you say. I report the shipment of Uridium-32 has been intercepted by Rebels, leader. This is bad news indeed. The supply of Uridium-32 is critical to the functioning of the butterfly device. Without continuing supplies, we cannot advance to conquer the other major trade capitals of this planet. Arrange a second shipment immediately. Very well, leader. Ah, oh, you're back. Any luck? Yep. We'll have the TARDIS going again in no time with these new components. Hopefully. Oh, and... Yes? Just a little surprise. Go on. I bought the bits you need to fix the chameleon circuit, too. It was only a matter of a few resistors and... Well, I got this earth processor chip. It's primitive, but should be adaptable to the job. So you can fix it when we get back, eh? What do you say? Yes, uh, maybe. Well, what we need is more... Time? The final frontier of man never to be conquered. The chance to witness past glories and future visions across the fourth dimension. What are you on about? Over there, that poster. Ah, the time exhibition at the Greenwich Millennium Dome. Hmm, well perhaps under other circumstances that would make an interesting visit. But we've got Colin and his newly found rebel friend here to sort out first. Haven't we, Mr... Mason. Jeff Mason. I'm grateful to you for saving my life from the Cybermen, whoever you are. Just call me the Doctor. And this is Colin here. (laughs) Colin, eh? Nice suit. Where did you get that from? Cyberman costume hire? Oh no, Colin's a proper Cyberman, all right. What? Only he's quite nice as they go. Come on, we've got a long walk ahead of us. Sources report there is no longer any readily available uranium. Have all current subway mining projects been checked? Yes, leader. And we can locate no more of the element. This is most regrettable. External supplies of uranium may take several Earth weeks to reach us. It is imperative that we locate the closer source. Set all available troop units to work to search for further subterranean resources immediately. Very well, leader. Some kind of radioactive substance, you say? That's all I know. It's important to them, somehow. Two of my friends died trying to derail the tube train carrying the shipment. I see. And where did the bomb come in? (laughs) Haven't you seen what they've installed next to Big Ben? They were going to execute me with it, remember? Yes, I remember only too well. And that was the best you could come up with then, blowing it up? Yeah, and it would have worked too, if they hadn't have 
caught us and disarmed it. Yes. Well, I'm afraid we're going to have to be rather more cunning than that if we're to get the better of the Cybermen. What? Have you got a plan? No, I'm working on it. Give me a couple of hours to think it all over. But I'm sure I'm missing something blatantly obvious. And there's nothing you can do? Nothing, even with all this gadgetry in here? I'm not sure. Don't let her looks deceive you. The TARDIS is no longer technologically advanced by today's standards. In fact, she's remarkably antiquated. But that's how we like it, eh, Romana? No. She doesn't mean it. Well, I don't know about your standards, but it's incredible from where I'm standing. I mean, just how do you do that? Um... Bigger on the inside thing? Oh, a little trick of transcendental quantum mechanics? Exploiting an anomaly between actual and perceived dimensional characteristics on two parallel planes? Hmm, I see. I doubt it. Done it! Jolly good! Huh? Is that it? Jolly good? Uh, yeah, I think so. Well, that's gratitude for you. Indeed. Uh, may I ask exactly what it is you've done? What? Oh, honestly, what do you think I've been spending the last two hours fixing? The drinks machine? Oh, good, I was meaning to sort out that block coffee nozzle myself for a long while. Good show. I meant that rhetorically, Doctor. Don't play the fool. Ah. You may not care, but both the navigation console and the comedian circuit are now fully operational. What? No more blue police box? No more blue police box. Unless you specifically request it. I do. It's vital to uh, blending in seamlessly with my surroundings. You get the chance of having a fully functional TARDIS which can morph into any shape you choose and you want it as a stupid telephone box. I give up. All right. All right what? All right. I'll compromise. Compromise? Yes. We'll test out the TARDIS by going to that time exhibition you spotted. And where's the compromise? I'll set the chameleon circuit so that the TARDIS takes the form of the red British telephone box. (sighs) You're obsessed with telephone boxes, aren't you, Doctor? Ah, not true at all. Hold tight. My God, it really does work, and we're on target too. In the Millennium Dome? Of course. And you're in luck. Look exactly where you've landed. Communication across the ages. Mmm, nice display. And I think we fit in quite well, don't you? Don't you think people wonder why there are two examples of a red British telephone box? Nah, you can never have enough telephone boxes. Come along. I want to have a look around, seeing as we're here. And scenes just in of the NATO airstrike against suspected Cyberman bases. You can see how the armed forces did not even get close before being shot down by the massive energy weapon the Cybermen have installed at the Palace of Westminster. Just to remind you, this is an actual footage of the attack earlier this evening. And at this point it is difficult to see how, if at all, it will be possible to restore the democratic rule to Britain. All international efforts are failing. See how their weapons are no match for the superior force of the Cybermen. Shall I arrange a second demonstration of our firepower to ensure the humans do not attempt further offense? Very well. You may destroy some public buildings. What buildings do you suggest, leader? Arrange the complete annihilation of a human religious building known as St. Paul's. Very good, leader. And the structure known as Millennium Dome. Jubilee, Episode 3, starring Andy Haynes as The Doctor, Sarah Cheney as Romana, John Greenwood as Colin and Adric, Howard Richardson as Jared, Mason and Kappa Bass, Damien Brooks as Jeffries, The Master and Cyber Leader, and Chib Chima Okereke as The Newsreader. Other Cyberman voices played by members of the cast. Jubilee.
episode three was written by Howard Richardson and based on ideas by John Greenwood and Howard Richardson. Digital editing, music and effects were by the Floor 10 Radiophonic Workshop with extra sounds from the BBC Sound Effects Library. This has been a Floor 10 audio production. Thank <laughs> you.